Hey there, it's Mindy and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for weekly DIYs and tips. In this video, I'll be sharing an easy DIY picture ledge and my recommendations for the three tools you should have to start woodworking. Let's get started. To make my picture ledges, I'm starting with three pine project boards, which are already pre-cut and smooth on all sides. So I put the sizes and model numbers at the top of the screen here so you can check online to see if your local store carries these as well. And I believe they also come in two and four foot lengths. The ones I'm using are three foot. I'm also going to use my Craig jig, which I'll talk about in a second, and my drill. And the power drill is the first tool that I want to talk about. You'll definitely need one of these for woodworking, but also I think every home should have one. As you'll see on the screen here, there are some different uses for one. Now there is quite a range in types of drills, but for woodworking you'll want one that's on the higher end voltage wise, which just means that it has more power for driving screws and things like that. Now to assemble my picture ledges, I used pocket holes, which make it so that there are no visible screws in my picture ledge. So I made four equally spaced marks on the three inch and four inch boards. Um, I didn't make any on the two inch and you'll see in a second here. So the three inch board will attach to the wall and the pocket holes should be on the wall side of that one and the pocket holes on the four inch board will be on the underside facing the front of the picture ledge and those will attach to the two inch board. And I'll show you here in a second how it'll all come together. So I mentioned my Craig jig earlier and that is the second tool that I will recommend for beginners uh, with woodworking and I wish I would have had this when I first started uh, my woodworking projects. But um, this is a pocket hole jig and Craig is just one of the brands that's out there. It's probably the most popular and they do come in different sizes. But this tool allows you to create pocket holes, which means that the hole is essentially hidden from the surface. So, and it also makes for a stronger joint than if you were to just screw from the outside of one piece into the other. And you'll see when it's all done assembled, you will not be able to see the holes or the screws. So as I mentioned before, the pocket holes on the four inch wood board are facing what will be the front of the picture ledge. And this is how it will attach to the two inch board. And that will be the front edge of the picture ledge. And for the three inch board, the pocket holes will be at the back and will attach to the top back edge of the four inch piece. I hope this is all making sense. Once it all comes together, you'll see it's pretty simple. 
Now, if you're really not comfortable using power tools, I do have a previous video where I made some smaller picture ledges using just wood glue, so I will link that here above. I'll also link to my woodworking projects playlist in the description box, so be sure to check that out for some different woodworking project ideas. And before I show you the final assembled picture ledge, I, the third tool I want to recommend is a miter saw. Now you might find some articles out there that would say your first saw should be a table saw or a circular saw, but I found that I use my miter saw the most, especially if you're just working with pre-cut boards and um, you know, smaller pieces of wood. This allows you to make quick, easy straight cuts and angled cuts. Um, and it's pretty much what I use if I need to cut any type of wood. So those are my three personal tool recommendations for beginner woodworking. These are my personal opinion. So I would say definitely do your research before you go out and just purchase a bunch of tools, um, watch more videos, look at some other tutorials, and decide for yourself what you need to start with. But these are my recommendations to begin. To assemble my picture ledges, I used one inch pocket hole screws and you'll see here you definitely need a couple of clamps to clamp down your wood pieces um, or if you have someone to help with a second set of hands that would be helpful as well. And this is the front end of the picture ledge. And here I'm attaching the back piece, which will also attach to the wall. And here's the final picture ledge. I did make four of these for my living room. There are two on either side of our TV stand, entertainment center, I guess you would call it. I am working on some DIY decor pieces to style these shelves. Um, I'll show you at the end of the video just a simple styling that I did um, just to get this final shot. but. Stay tuned for those. Um, I will show you the entire living room here soon, probably in the next few weeks, but I am going to be taking a break from inside projects and working on some outdoor decor so we can enjoy our outdoor spaces. And here is the final look. I am loving this terracotta wall. I originally uh, wanted to paint these shelves black, but I'm so glad I left them natural. My husband convinced me to just keep them natural wood, and I think they're a nice contrast with the terracotta. And you will notice these um, leaves 
in the small frames on the bottom shelf there. Those are just temporary um, for this video, but they are available on my website and my printable library if you're interested in those. Um, so check that out in the description box as well. I hope you enjoyed this easy picture ledge tutorial. Be sure to subscribe if you are not already. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and leave me a comment down below. Thanks for watching.